laying a foundation, the Kennedy Center definition for arts integration. What is arts integration? Across the nation, there's been a growing interest in arts integration as an approach to teaching in which the arts leverage learning in other subject areas such as science, language arts, mathematics, and social studies. The different ways that the arts are offered in the classroom is divided into three main categories. Arts as curriculum, arts enhanced curriculum, and arts integrated curriculum. All three are important, needed, and valid. Then there's the fourth aspect, which is arts as experience. This is when students experience high quality arts performances like going to the symphony or art museum. In art as curriculum, students develop knowledge and skills in a particular art form. Often referred to as arts learning or art for art's sake, the programs are guided by national, state, or local standards for each of the art forms. For example, in music, students learn to read music and how to play an instrument. They learn how music has developed and changed throughout history and engage in improvising melodies or rhythms. Arts Enhanced Curriculum is when the arts are used to support other curriculum areas, but no skills in the art form are explicitly taught. Examples include memorizing the preamble with a song from Schoolhouse Rock, or coloring a map in social studies. In Arts Integration, connections are made between a specific art form and a specific curriculum area. Explicit skills and knowledge are taught in both areas, and both subjects are assessed. The Kennedy Center has a wonderful definition for arts integration on its website. It states, Arts integration is an approach to teaching in which students construct and demonstrate understanding through an art form. Students engage in a creative process which connects an art form and another subject area and meets evolving objectives in both. Let's look more closely at the definition of arts integration and what it means in your classroom. Arts integration is an approach to teaching. This refers to how something is taught rather than what is taught. It relies heavily on student-centered instruction. This approach is experiential and collaborative with a positive classroom environment where students are encouraged to take risks. The arts integration approach provides multiple ways for students to make sense of what they learn. In today's classroom, teachers are encouraged to plan instruction that engages students in visual, aural, and kinesthetic tactile learning modalities. Arts integration provides ways for students to make their learning visible. The learning is evident in the products they create. It challenges students to go beyond recall, to take the information they've learned and do something with it to build deeper understanding. You will discover that the heart of arts integration is engagement in the creative process. Students must create something that is original and has value. When students engage in a creative process, that creative process can be messy. It is difficult to predict what will happen or be discovered while learners engage in authentic inquiry and experimentation. Connections are made between a specific art form and a specific curriculum area. For example, an art project using clay can be connected to the study of geographical forms, or a drama tableau lesson can be connected to a moment from history. Integration works best when connections between subjects are mutually reinforcing. The two subjects should offer deeper understanding when studied together. This final part of the definition underscores two ideas. First, arts integration requires teachers to set objectives in both the art form and the other subject area. The dual objectives are balanced. Students are accountable for significant learning in both the art form and the other subject. It is important to allow for progress over time. A student does not learn to express ideas through dance in just one lesson. It takes time to develop skills in the arts, just as in any other subject.
Well, arts integration practices six learning principles. It offers active hands-on learning with authentic problems for students to solve. It draws on students' experiences and prior knowledge. Students have opportunities to reflect about what they are learning, and the learning evolves as they increase in skill and ability. The Kennedy Center has provided an arts integration checklist to help. The items can help teachers identify when their approach to teaching is indeed integrated. And that is a quick breakdown of the definition from the Kennedy Center. We hope this will help arts integration find its way into your classroom and make a difference with your students. <music>